Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 16th, 2021. A very special happy birthday to my dad, Tom. Dad, I love you so much. Um, by the time this goes out, I'll be seeing you for your birthday and I can't wait. All right, so let's see what we have for today. What is the angelic focus? What are we being asked to look at? Okay, pink oval, be kind to yourself turquoise prioritize your health these are both uh sort of stop all production kind of crystals and i say that because often when the pink opal comes out i always mention one of the attributes of this crystal is to help with grieving so if you weren't aware of that there you go think of it as a gentle loving it's kind of like rose quartz except i would just my opinion i would put this crystal more in the category of rhodonite as well where there's something as it's like bittersweet you know what i'm saying uh there's something that has occurred you know it had to be done maybe it was a breakup god forbid if you experienced a loss but there could be someone who's definitely on your mind today and turquoise it says prioritize your health but i feel like this is and yeah that's a good message do that but <laughs> this is talking about um speaking your truth there's been a whole lot of that a lot of you know freeing ourselves with speaking up now this can also talk about if some of you i'm going to address this if some of you are experiencing grief and it is affecting your health please as i say almost in every single video please make sure that you are consulting with an expert uh, a doctor or a psychologist who specializes in grief and helping you heal through that okay some of you this is grieving um a childhood yeah, this is grieving your childhood. So your assignment for today from the angels, <laughs> you'll have to get homework, um, but if you want to see it that way, but the message from the angels is that you can't run from this pain anymore. Now, this is a general reading. Let's be careful with this. If you're not ready to look at something, click off the video. Okay. It's all right. Um, you, you come back to it whenever you feel you're ready and always make sure you have proper support. But for those of you who are watching today and you're like, no, I've been dreaming about that. Or I have these weird memories. They sort of come in and then they fade back out. And I just want to have a breakthrough with relationships. Why do I hold myself back? Why do I not go after the things that I want? Why, you know, whatever might be going on for you. This is going to help free you from, they're using the word despair. Helping you free yourself from despair. And how does that come through? The vision of a truth. An absolute vision of the truth. Yeah. Um, hang with me here. I'm just, I want to fill this out and make sure I'm saying this correctly. Because it does, it has, it does have kind of a, like a heavy sadness about it. And yet... For some, because you might be listening to this and going, I didn't experience loss. What are you talking about? This isn't for me. We're all grieving something. Whether it was what happened during 2020. Um, for some of you, it was experiencing a loss that you feel like, yes, that was awful that that person transitioned. We miss that person, you know, so, so, so very much. But they really hung in there for us. You know, they hung on through illness and maybe even injury and, you know, all this stuff. They hung in there to be there with us. And now they finally get to be free. Now they finally get to experience what it is to go into the light and to be that expansion. And so even though you're sad about it, you have this understanding of it. Okay. Now, some of you are actually, hang with me here. There's a lot of messaging coming up here. Some of you are terrified about your health. So you might be experiencing a health issue. Work with Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael to protect you. Um, but whatever's on your soul's contract, that's what's on your soul's contract. So if you came in to experience what it is to find appreciation for life through an illness or, you know, an appreciation for movement and mobility through an injury and really treating your body as this precious, precious, uh, being, right. Um, or a very precious part of your being, you know, this is going to help you come to terms 
with what you're experiencing. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. They're, they're going to turquoise and ceremony. So who knew all this combo here could <laughs> be coming up? So ceremony, getting grounded, that's the turquoise. Okay. Some people are just going through, they're sort of taking on um, ceremonial practices and thinking that just because they go through the moves or they just, let's just say, take the tea, that um, that makes them transform. I'm being careful with how I say this. And th there's a message here where some people are not doing it correctly. <laughs> so be careful with what you're doing, I guess is what I'm saying. Make sure that you're ready for that. Because there are people who go to certain ceremonies and, you know, they engage in certain activities and, you know, they come out and they've had to do it over and over and over and over and over again because they weren't, they're only taking it in small doses. They weren't really prepared when they went into the ceremony. Whatever that means for some of you out there. So don't just go through the motions for bragging rights. Make sure you are anchored and really what, because this stuff is not, especially certain ceremonies, you know, that's not to be messed with. You only do that when you're ready, okay? If ever, okay? You don't have to do some of the practice. And this is important for some people, getting the cabochons. This is important for some people to hear. You don't have to go to the lengths that some people do to have a spiritual awakening. Okay. If it's not right for you, that's okay. Release and healing. That's a big theme of today. So we have angel. You're very protected. You can come out of hiding. There's the beauty and the wisdom, clarity, groundedness, and your calling. So there, we were talking about a lot of the experiences that you have been going through, whatever that might be. It is a part of your soul's contract. And I know that can sound very upsetting to people because, you know, there are things, there have been things that have happened to me in my life, like traumatizing things from when I was a toddler. And it would be very difficult for me as a human to just sit here and say, oh, it was on my soul's contract. I was supposed to learn this. I think what we do is when we're perhaps just how it's coming through me right now, when we're planning out this soul's contract, we are maybe planning in an experience, not the details of the experience, but an emotional experience. So if I'm going to come in and let's say my whole purpose in incarnating is to help people heal, to raise frequency in the way that I can, um, I would need to know what the human experience is like. What is the dark underbelly of humanity? What, what are some of the darkest corners? And coming in and seeing that and witnessing that it's been a weird trend in my life where I've been attracted to places right after tragedies have happened. For LA, I went there in the late 90s. I don't need to tell you everything that was going on in the 90s in LA, okay? Um, and then right after 9-11, I moved to New York City and was there and weirdly went to grad school there, ended up in graduate student housing, didn't know New York at all, ended up a couple of blocks away from what we were referring to at the time was the pit. And they were still in the cleanup and recovery mode when I moved there. Uh, when I came to Colorado Springs, they had just experienced a couple of years prior two major fires that almost wiped out the entire area, the Waldo Canyon fire and the Black Forest fire. So it's kind of weird that, you know, I'm, I'm always kind of being placed where I can be witness to the aftermath of what humans are experiencing. So going back to this understanding that we would put this on our soul's contract, I don't think I put it in my soul's contract to maybe, but I don't, I don't really feel it. <laughs> uh, let me experience abuse. Let me witness tragedy. Let me, you know, I, I don't know that I put it in as such. Probably more like, like I said before, let me see what humans go through. What where is the frequency? How is that frequency expressing? What do I have to work with? How far do we have to come up? Okay. So think about that for your own soul's contract. When something, something is coming up, you know, can you find the beauty in it? Even if it seems super dark, there was beauty in going to New York City and just holding space for someone who would still tremble when they would talk about being right near the towers as they were falling. 
That's a hard thing for us humans to go, that was beautiful. No, the event was not beautiful. But human connection is. And we can't get ourselves caught up on the tragedy. Because we have real work to do. We have to be there with each other, right? Again, revisit the idea of your soul's contract today. See what comes up for you as an individual and see if you can even reframe it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like reframe it um, and, and bring some of these understandings into the physical. That's what Archangel Ariel is representing here. And Jophiel showing the beauty, showing the wisdom. And, and keeping, I want to say taking some of these memories out of hiding. And looking at them once more. And seeing the importance behind what really went on. Okay. So we are going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.